the Black Bears got win number one of the season last night. And tonight, Jed Jerko and the boys at Mon County Ballpark were looking to make it a streak against Frederick. The series rubber match on the turf in Granville this evening, but it was the keys that got things started in terms of the scoring. Kendall Yule blasts one 442 feet over the center field wall, and that makes it one nothing Frederick in the top half of the fourth inning. West Virginia, though, responds to get out of that inning. Blaze Brothers handles a tough hop off the mound, tosses it to Brandon Dieter, who relays it over to University grad Ross Mulhall at first for the 4-6-3 double play to send it to the bottom half. In the bottom of the fifth, the home team gets the proverbial home team bounce. Haven Mangrum's bouncer in front of the plate causes all kinds of problems for the pitcher, whose errant throw down the first baseline allows Mulhall to come in from second and lets Van Gupton Jr. sprint all the way in from first. That gives West Virginia the lead 2-1 to one after 5. Anander DeSatis double ties it in the 6th. Then in the top of the 7th, Logan Sanders takes the lead back for Frederick with this single into center. That loads the bases with just one out for the Keys, and they hold a 3-2 lead. However, Andre Woltarovich leads, leaves them that way, first with a strikeout looking and then a ground ball to third. That puts an end to the threat. West Virginia came back to tie this one in the eighth, and they won it with the MLB Draft League's new sudden death tiebreaker rule for the first time in franchise history.